Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo, good evening, great educator and great teachers in West Java or in Indonesia. Welcome to West Java Teacher Chatter Event, Java Teacher Chatter Event, ya. Yeah. A program organized by the West Java Virtual Coordinator Community in collaboration with Peace Corps Indonesia. And in this occasion, we are back again in episode uh, 66. And we have a theme here, Untabu, the taboo with critical thinking. So at this special moment, we have teacher Andri as our coach and Miss Sari Idayatni as uh, our guest speaker from Peace Corps Indonesia. So, Teacher Andri and also Miss Sari Idayatni, I'm very honored for having you here. So, without any further ado, so I hand over the microphone to Teacher Andri to lead the session. All right. Uh, Please, Miss Andri or Teacher Andri. Yes. Uh, can you can you all hear my voice clearly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can hear your voice clearly. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming uh, for this uh, special event. Yeah, seminar bahasa Inggris. Yes. Okay. Uh, so at, at this moment, uh, you are if you are not sure whether you come at the uh, at the right meeting or not. This is actually the 66th 66th uh, uh, Jabber Teacher Chatter. Uh, we are a session specially for the teachers to uh, learn to communicate uh, with Hello, uh, English. Yes. Uh, can you hear? Yeah, I think hmm. your voice is. Yeah, I can hear, but your voice is not quite oh, stable. Not stable. Okay, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so this one is okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I would continue uh, with the introduction of our guest speaker today. Uh, she is Ibu uh, Sari Idayatni, who has been working for Peace Corps since 2012 as a regional manager and gender point of contact. And I just found out that she is actually, uh, we are actually with uh, from the same uh, school. Uh, Ibu Id, uh, Sari Idayatni finished her master degree in international National Development and Environmental Analysis from Monash University, Australia in 2011. Uh, and also from there, but I finished in 2002, so nine years before. As part of her study, she had an internship at a local community center in Ashburton, Victoria for its environmental project. Uh, for her bachelor degree, she studied English literature at Gajah Mada University, Yogyakarta. Before joining Peace Corps, she had worked in the development sector since 2004 with the Aus 8 basic education projects. She was also a Java Post uh, journalist for two years and a lecturer at the English Department of Universitas Erlangga Surabaya for one and a half years. So, uh, and her volunteer uh, volunteer work includes being an English tutor, a journalism trainer, and a chairperson for a non-profit non -profit organization where she co-organized various activities for and with youth. So uh, today, uh, Ibu Sari Idayatni would talk about Untabu the Taboo with Critical Thinking. We think that uh, talking something that is taboo is uh, forbidden and then uh, sometimes we ignore the needs to talk about it. So uh, I'm very pleased to have Ibu Sari Idayatni today to uh, introduce and uh, present the materials. So uh, Ibu Sari, uh, the microphone and the time I will hand it to you. Thank you. It's you, Andri, right? 
So not Ibu Febri. Yes, Ibu Andri. <laughs> Okay, thank you Ibu Andre, thank you Ibu Dini, good evening Ibu-Ibu and Bapak-Bapak. Uh, I'm Sari again, another Peace Corps staff on your JTC list of guest speakers. Thank you for not only attending but also being present at this evening's JTC. So I hope you are also uh, present. And thank you for the committee for letting me use the next hour or so to discuss this topic with you all. I hope at the end of this session, you have more ideas on how to engage your students in class. And as usual, as what the Peace Corps staff usually do, I will start this with sharing my screen. <laughs> Well, at the moment, I can ignore the people in the waiting room and people who accidentally unmute themselves, but not uh, planning to talk. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with some introduction with some ground rules. And I think this is what I need to do first. So if you're not familiar yet with Peace Corps, this is what Peace Corps is. So it is an independent U.S. government agency that sends uh, trained U.S. citizens as volunteers to other countries. They partner with local community members to do certain projects. In Indonesia, they do uh, TEFL projects. They did. They will come again next year. And if you would like to know more about Peace Corps or how your school or organization can collaborate with Peace Corps, you can check our website. It's peacecorps.gov. And... Uh, the next one is the ground rules. So we would appreciate if you could do the following. Mute yourself when you're not talking. Turn on the video if your connection permits. And if you would like to put on another layer on your clothes if you're on your pajama. <laughs> and you can use the chat box to, uh, to comment or ask question while someone else is speaking. And if you would like to be called on, uh, you can raise your hand so you can also talk before other people fall asleep listening to my soothing voice. <laughs> and this is about the session tonight. So in this conversation, I hope there is a conversation, not just me talking at you. We will unbox critical thinking skills and hopefully you have ideas on how to use the skills to untaboo the taboo. Okay. Okay, now we go on to the meat of the session. So what is uh, critical thinking? Before I go to some definitions that I have here, uh, can I ask maybe some of you to write in the chat box or if you would like to be called on, you can raise your hand. How would you define critical thinking? What is critical thinking according to you? I mean, you're most of you, or if not all of you are teachers, I think this is also part of the profil pelajar Pancasila, right? We have nalar kritis. So how would you define critical thinking? We have something in the notes. Thinking deeply, thank you, Ibu Rahayu. Assuming this is Ibu, right? Any other thought? Thinking from other perspective. Okay, yeah, taking another perspective, yeah. Thinking comprehensively and out of the box. Out of the box again, yeah. Being curious. Okay, keep them coming. If you have other ideas on what you think critical thinking is. And again, I'm not here as a teacher to judge you if one definition is better than the others or if one definition is the most correct one. But, you know, we can have different uh, definitions about critical thinking. So this is, uh, let's see. Are you familiar with this scenario? Uh, looking at the picture. So it starts with the, or maybe someone can tell me what this scenario is. You see a giraffe in the fridge, an elephant in the fridge, and then a crocodile, and then someone's here, and then this is the lion, king of the jungle. 
Would anyone like to tell us what this scenario is? What is the story? This picture. Uh, then uh, about uh, to put the animals on in the fridge or something. Yeah, they usually start with how do you put a giraffe into a fridge, and what do you think would be the answer, Bu Andri? Usually, how do you put the giraffe in the fridge? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's something that's something to think about yeah uh to put the giraffes in the fridge well i wonder if anyone uh can give an answer to that how do you put a giraffe into a fridge open the fridge open the fridge put the giraffe put the giraffe in close the door, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Ibu honey <laughs> Okay. How and then the second one, how do you put an elephant into the fridge? Open the fridge. Mm -hmm. Uh take the giraffe out of the fridge in the elephant and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> because the fridge won't fit both, right? <laughs> Okay, so now the, the Lion King. So the Lion King uh, is having a meeting. Uh, all of the animals are there except one. Which animal was missing or is missing? The elephant. <laughs> the elephant. <laughs> because he's in the fridge. <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> okay, now you are about to, you have to cross a river, but you cannot swim. Yeah. And the river is a habitat mm -hmm. of crocodiles. How do you get yeah. to the other side of the river? Just swim. Why? <laughs> because the other animals, uh, <laughs> the other animals will go to the meeting. <laughs> the animals <laughs> are in the meeting. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, now you know the story, right? I know. Yes, of course you do. So, it's this critical thinking that when we, when we ask these questions and then your students, for example, or um, the participants in your training give you the correct answer, does it reflect critical thinking? Do you think? Yes, I think it's reflect the critical thinking because it's something impossible. <laughs> it's something impossible. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Except that the the fridge is very big. <laughs> very big. Yeah, maybe in a I imagine in a big restaurant they have like maybe the whole room as the, the fridge or the freezer, and you can put this giraffe there. But I used to think that this reflects critical thinking. But if you're not questioning, like, how can you, how can you put the giraffe? If you only imagine a fridge that you have in your house, I cannot really imagine putting in a giraffe. <laughs> not to mention a giraffe. I myself might not fit there. <laughs> so, and let alone an elephant, right? And I mean, I've never seen like all of the animals someone by by the the king to have a meeting i've never seen animals having a meeting like when you, when there is a a zebra a giraffe or a deer most probably the lion will chase them and eat them <laughs> so i myself don't see this um as really a critical thinking but maybe more of a joke yeah so if you open an um a training session or you open your class with something like this and then you can get the interest from your students or your participants but again you're correct Buhani it also can also reflect critical thinking when we question this scenario like is it really possible to put a giraffe in a fridge right 
Okay, so what is actually critical information and ideas and analyze, evaluate, reflect the thinking process and then um, make decisions. So let's see what is critical thinking according to Peace Corps. This is from Peace Corps. So this is careful thinking about solving problems by making sure that the problems are understood and all necessary information is available. Like when we don't have the necessary information, how are we going to solve the problem? How are we going to understand what the real problem is? So most importantly, it is about making informed decision. And there's another a definition that I took from. So uh, it explained where the word uh, comes from, criticos, that means able to judge or discern I think this is also uh, similar to what you all said in the chat box, both of the definitions. So here it is more about making judgments based on reliable information. So you, you see from both definitions, there is an important part, which is the information, which should be reliable. Okay. All right, so what about critical thinking in the classroom? Now, I would like to hear from you. What is one example of classroom activity that you have done to foster critical thinking skills? Can anyone give an example? <laughs> yeah, Mas Johnny, it could be. Think of the possibility to produce a big fridge that can accommodate the big animals. And then it also... Uh, encourages me to ask, why do you need to put an animal in the fridge? <laughs> if you want to preserve it, you want to preserve the meat. That's I think that's the only, the only thing, um, the only situation where I put an animal, the meat in the fridge, right? Okay, so uh, can anyone give an example of classroom activity that you have done? to foster critical thinking skills of your students? Again, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm not an expert. Yes, Ibudini, thank you. So, okay, I will try. So uh, I will share the example of classroom activity that I've been done in my class that uh, yeah can foster uh, the critical thinking. For example, like, uh, I ask my students or I can give them with the case, for example, like the environment uh, problem, environmental problem uh, from uh, learning video, for example, then they have to ask from the video, that video, and beside that, they can also uh uh, give the solution for mm -hmm. solve for solving the problems mm -hmm. like that, for example. Yeah, thank you, Ibudini. So again, uh, relates to the definitions that we talked about before, right? So it's about solving a problem. Uh, you use here the example of a case study, right? Okay, thank you. Um, from Ibuheni, by proposing a story of a moral dilemma, uh, is that a response to this question or the previous one? Do you want to unmute yourself or do you want to write more in the chat box? Okay, I, cannot, I cannot see everyone. It seems like Ibuheni is not turning on her camera. Okay, we have Pa Ade Mahudin. Please, Pa. Okay, thank you. I will try to share the critical thinking on my class. Uh, as you know, that the teacher like the, is a human. There is a human error with teacher. And student asks why like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point is uh, to to encourage to stimulate the students to ask why to ask the question why thank you pa ade okay, i'm still waiting for ibuheni you might want to write more or do you want to unmute yourself uh, sorry okay. uh, 
Uh, can I be heard there? Yes, clearly. Okay, I'm so sorry. I cannot uh, open my camera because I just can't. It's okay. We're <laughs> all in pajamas. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I've got an idea to have uh, to foster a critical thinking of my students. Is I have a students in a, a what is it an elementary school. I would like to propose a story of a moral dilemma. For example, a story about the ant and grasshopper. Anyone knows about the story? The ant and the grasshopper. Kisah belalang dan semut. Okay, uh, it's about uh, what is it when uh, in the winter when the ants try to gather all the stock food for the winter, but the grasshopper only played the music. And then we we then ask for the student to give their opinion about uh, whether they agree with what the ants punish the grasshopper in that way. Hmm. So, because uh, the story uh, already have another version uh, about the the mouse, uh, the mice, I guess. Did it, uh, they have a, a different version, and then we give them both to the students. But uh, for the first time, we give the first story, and then we ask the student to give their opinion, and we will see how they give a reason uh, whether they approve or disapprove with the story. Thank you. Thank you, Ibu Henny. So it's about giving opinion with reasons, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's. I think that's also a good way. Let me check the chat box again. There's um, yeah from now from Ibu Hani by showing a picture, then ask what is it? What is in the picture? Who is it? What are they doing? Why are they doing that? Right. So. Asking those questions, yeah. So asking questions uh, that make them think, yeah. That make them, them think about the pictures. Thank you. Um, please keep them coming if you have any other experience to share. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we move on to know more about critical thinking. So this is a video from Tapal Talk. Um, I think I gave Ibu Helena the, um, the link already if you want to watch later, because now I would like you... Wait. Hold on a second. There's something with my crazy? I don't know. But anyway, let's watch this critical thinking video. I'm not going to play them all. I hope you can. Hi, I'm Laura. Okay. Uh, did you hear that? Were you able to hear the voice? Yes. 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 Okay. yes Busari. Okay. So I'm just going to skip that. Again, so if you want more, um, there are already a lot of videos here you can watch. So between Laura and our TEFL expert. Well, Brock Brady is not working with Peace Corps anymore, but... Uh, there's still a lot of um, TEFL discussion here. I'm going to skip the introduction. Sorry, Laura. Hi, and welcome back to TEFL Talk. As always, I am here with my co-host and TEFL expert, Brock Brady. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm going to solve the problems of teaching again today. Ah, indeed. And today is a great one because we're going to talk about critical thinking. So I know that we are supposed to, as teachers, develop our students' critical thinking skills, but what does that mean? It's about solving problems. Okay, so would you say it helps make, it helps students to learn how to make informed decisions? Yes, that's exactly what it is, and decision making is the essence of critical thinking. I'm curious to know, as English teachers, are there certain languages that support critical thinking maybe over others? No, absolutely not. Um, no language is better in engaging in critical thinking than another one. What I really do encourage, though, is if teachers have the choice or the possibility, they should work with students in their home language and have them develop critical thinking in their home language first. And then it's easier to just automatically transfer that if they need to learn another language. 
that doesn't mean that you can't teach critical thinking while you're teaching English or some other language to students, but it's, it's always best if they can begin in their home language. So it's always worthwhile to start building that base in the first language, awesome. and those skills would then just transfer to the yeah, other languages. Absolutely. Excellent. Let's try kind of a hands-on approach. Okay. Uh, can you help me walk through how I might use critical thinking to make an informed decision? Well, let's try a few questions. What are you thinking about? Uh, so let's imagine I'm in the market for a new pet. How might I approach this with some critical thinking types of questions? Well, first of all, I think a very important question is, is there room in your life for a pet right now? Ooh, that's a great question. So I am nine months pregnant, you may have noticed. Mm -hmm. Um, there is not Nothing gets by me. <laughs> there is not room in my life for a needy pet. However, I will uh, have some time to be at home, so um, I'll have an opportunity and maybe want a companion that is not um, crying all the time um, to to maybe interact with. So I think that yeah, my life could accommodate a low maintenance pet. It sounds like you've narrowed it down. And I dare say you probably have something in mind. Is that right? Are you, I bet you're thinking about a, a hedgehog. A hedgehog? Really? I mean, a cat didn't even dawn on me. Well, I, I, I guess a hedgehog would be a good pet. I don't know. Do you know something about them? Um, you know, I, I, I know that uh, they don't require walking. Okay. And um, I hear they eat cat food. Okay, well, the, that's something positive about them. So, okay, maybe that's a good idea. Well, it took very few questions to kind of narrow down um, the list of possibilities, although we may have disagreed on what my outcome was. <laughs> um, I do think that this line of questioning probably is transferable in the classroom. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So how, how could you make these kinds of questions, or, or how do you focus on the importance of these, this type of questioning uh, with your students? What you should be trying to help the students to do is to identify problems, figure out what assumptions they're making or not, and follow the steps and the method to come... Tips and activities to take away. So I'm hoping that maybe you have some prepared for us today. The first one to talk about is a very common technique that's known as KWL. Mm -hmm. And this is where the st teacher asks the students, what do you know about a hedgehog? Mm -hmm. What would you like to know about a hedgehog? And I like this, what would you want to know about a hedgehog? Because the what there gives the students uh, kind of a, some agency and some investment in that. It's not just we're going to learn the lesson the teacher gave to us, but they're going to find out some things that are interesting to them. And then at the end of the lesson comes the L, what did you learn? So you do a little debriefing, which is always good for critical thinking. What did you learn? Kind of recreate the process. So that's a very good activity. So that's great. And then another very common activity is think, pair, share. So you ask the students at the beginning individually to think about a question or a problem, and they try to develop an answer. And then you have two students share in a pair, and that gives them an opportunity to kind of try out what they've come up with. They may come up with something that's a contribution of both of them. It's an opportunity for them to speak in a place where they're not being listened to by everybody so they can build up their confidence a little bit. And then when that's done, you bring the whole class back together and you have people share out and you can com uh, compare different visions and different opinions of, of what they've come up with. Great. So that creates creative thinking. Yeah, I like that one. Um, it, it's nice because it includes that report out strategy yeah. as well. A third one is making connections. Mm -hmm. And this is very often associated with, with developing reading comprehension. So whenever you, a student has been engaged in a reading, uh, you afterwards you ask the students, well, how does this connect to your life? Making connections to self. And then the other thing you want to explore is making connections to the world. How does this relate to the real world and the life that we're all living in? It? And then the third one, which is a little bit of intertextuality, is making connections between what was read today and what students may have already read before, so they may get used to kind of putting together the pieces of a puzzle. 
Yeah, so you're really kind of challenging your students to think with three different lenses. Yes. And I imagine as you progress, it, it kind of triggers that critical thinking at a new level and then an even higher level. Yeah. Any more for us? Well, maybe kind of an activity, which is fun to do. And it's about determining something as a fact or an opinion. Oh, can we do it? Sure, let's try out a few. Let okay. me see. Madagascar is an island. Is that a fact or an opinion? And that is a fact. Madagascar is an island. How do you know that it's a fact? I could, uh, I suppose, uh, take the boring route. I could look at a map and verify that it is an island. Um, my favorite approach would probably be to take a spaceship to look down and to see that pretty blue water all around Madagascar. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay. The Hungarian language is more beautiful than Korean. Uh, I'm going to have to say opinion on that one. Okay. Why? Uh, well, for starters, it's impossible to prove. Uh, it's a matter of opinion. Some people might like the way one sounds versus others might like the way the other sounds. Okay, very good. You're reasoning very really well. Mm. Which makes a better pet, cats or dogs? Uh, that's going to be an opinion. Why do you think so? Um, again, because it's hard to prove. Well, okay. I'll let you have that. I think I could come up with some facts that would say that cats are better than dogs, but I think you're right. It's an opinion. Spoken like a true cat person. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there are a lot of times in Win Baba where we have, maybe not a lot of times, <laughs> several times we had online meeting with Brock when he was still with Peace Corps that his cat will uh, come into the screen. So he is a cat person. So he obviously will say cat makes a better uh, pet. Okay, so if you want to watch the rest again, uh, you can click the link later, okay? Not now. <laughs> Now, uh, did anyone know that Madagascar was an island? Or am I the only one who is so bad in geography? <laughs> no, but that is actually not my question. So what is it that, uh, that Brock talked about, about critical thinking? What did you get from Brock, from Brock, Brock about critical thinking? What new information did you get from Brock? Uh, okay, that's the only one. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> I, want, I want to try. Yes, please. Do Gridiana. Okay. Uh, thank you, Miss Sari. Um, I just get information from uh, their discussion that. Um, when we start our class, uh, maybe the first one, when we do the critical thinking, means that we have to identify the problems. What is the topic that we are going to talk about? Okay, and then uh, the second one, of course, we figure out the problems. So when we figure out the problems, it means that we have to give some question to them. For example, when we uh, ask them, um, what do you know about Hedgehog? Headstock, and then what do you want to know about it? So maybe these two questions help the students, uh, invite them to get involved in our classroom, and then we will see. the The point is maybe we have to make them, uh, we have to give them encourage to get involved in our classroom. So when the situation is already built, mean that uh, the students will have in uh, will interested in the topic so the the class will um, they will do something and then of course the teacher will uh, lead the uh, class in a smooth smooth smoothly situation that is so that's all i i got from uh, their discussion thank you Thank you so much, Ibu Gradiana. You uh, really summarized it well. I think you must have been a, a very diligent student. Yeah, you really <laughs> listened to your teacher. <laughs> yeah, so uh, identify problems, figure out the assumption, and then follow the steps to come to a, co a conclusion by asking follow-up questions. And there are also there are some activities that you can use in class to foster critical thinking. Ibu Gradiana mentioned one about KWL, 
and then I um, write in the chat box um, the think pair share activities, and then the teacher gives scaffolding, absolutely able. And okay, and then what what are the other uh, activities that Brock um, suggests where you can foster critical thinking? So we have two already, KWL, Think Pair Share. There are two more, actually. Ooh, everyone's sleeping. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I can try. Uh, actually, uh, the situation is when we, uh, I start from my, my, uh, my experience that I think the students uh, nowadays, we start from the zero because this is the uh, online school online school situation so when we become to new normal it is very hard for the teacher to invite student get involved in this in this uh, classroom situation and uh, in this situation uh, we have to uh, give the simple one the simple one um, question for example, um, uh, what time did you wake up this morning? And then what time did you start from your uh, uh, home to school? And then how long uh, uh, did you take to school? So uh, by this question, the student will, this is contextual situation to their life. So mm -hmm. maybe they will answer this, the, the question, but uh, sometimes uh, they speak Bahasa. But at least we already invite them to get involved. And then after that, uh, because their, their friends already try to involve, so the other one also, they will answer the question. So the situation is, um, I think that the students must be encouraged first. And then after they feel that it is comfortable to them, and then maybe we give the uh, the the um, the following question, and then they will try to think. So start from the simple one, and then we will go to the the hard one. I think the hard it's it is still uh, impossible for them. Sometimes they just keep silence, and then uh, we have to uh, give some probes to them how to how to invite them. This is the situation. Um, the situation is still um, the we have to uh, move from the sleepy, the sleepy situation to the normal one. So how the teacher try to invite the students, all the students in the classroom to get involved. And some students maybe only. 10% they will answer the question the other one just keep silence and then they just follow yeah, what what the teacher talk about and then what the other students talk that is okay thank you thank you Ibu sounds to me like you are describing what we have tonight <laughs> no, I'm just joking <laughs> yeah. so uh, I think the point is to provide a safe environment for the students yeah encouraging them to talk like that one activity think pair share it is also also a way where we can provide a safe environment they can think uh, for themselves first and then they can share with another student next to them and if they're comfortable they can share to the whole class and Mas Eric thank you connect to the real world yes of course um is it Bapa or Ibu? Mungkin Srifai. In my case, students are mostly used to be spoon-fed by this teacher. That is why it's really difficult to let them express what they have in mind. Yeah, I I noticed that, Pa. I also um, I acknowledge that situation. And I think Ibu Graviana uh, made a good point that we can start with some basic questions. So we start with, simple question before we move on to the more complex one and when uh, when we ask questions that is relatable to them there is no right or wrong answer if you ask them what time did you wake up this morning should it be four four to three, five doesn't matter there's no uh, right or wrong answer as long as they get to school on time right so uh, in that case they will feel 
like they can they can participate because any answer is acceptable. Uh, Ibu Hani, in my class, they're very difficult to stop asking. So they keep asking you questions. Yeah, that's what I get. Okay, that that is that is interesting. That is great. I think Ibu, when you have uh, have students who uh, ask a lot of questions. Yes, sometimes when they are asking questions, uh, and I don't have the answers, uh -huh. so I ask the other. Uh, student first and then the class is out of control <laughs> <laughs> out of control in a good way i think you <laughs> i think that's that's a much preferred class than a silent one maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> okay thank you everyone for sharing again if you have other things to share please do put them in the chat box or you can raise hand so we can call on you ibu kori Sometimes we are not patient enough waiting for them <laughs> to answer or they deliver their idea when they have no idea <laughs> about the topic. At least they try, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. What are other ways to, to foster students, students' critical thinking? And these are some more ideas that you can probably use in your classroom. So you can use pros and cons, you can use riddles or puzzles, debates. What would you do if um, I had this funny story from um, a volunteer many years ago? So she get the situation. What would you do if tomorrow is the end of the world? All of her students uh, put some things like, oh, I would ask for forgiveness from other, from everyone. I would stay in the mosque or in the church asking from, uh, for forgiveness uh, from God. But the only thing the volunteer had in her mind was that I would ride a motorcycle. <laughs> so if you know Peace Corps, volunteers are not allowed to ride a motorcycle, but <laughs> tomorrow is the end of the world that volunteer will ride a motorcycle in Indonesia. <laughs> and there are also other ways like interpreting arts. I think someone mentioned in the chat box give them a picture and ask them to interpret what it means. Okay, so now here it is, the taboo topics. <laughs> so this, these are two questions that I would like to think first. Maybe we can use uh, this think pair share first. So think, um, think of it yourself. What are some common taboo topics in your community. So community can be any community in your family, in your school, in your neighborhood, or if um, this makes you uncomfortable, if you don't want to talk about taboo topics, you can think of uncomfortable topics that people usually avoid in your community. And then how would you bring up that topic? So my... Uh, the, the thing when, I, when I'm thinking about taboo topic here is actually an important topic, but people would rather avoid them because they, they are not comfortable talking about these topics. So an example that I can think of is um, unwanted pregnancy. So this, is, this could be a um, taboo topic, like people don't really talk about that. Um, it, like openly, but we see that happening and it is an issue. Unwanted pregnancy, I'm not talking about people who are married, but uh, school students, for example. So early pregnancy, unwanted pregnancy. Um, so people don't talk about it uh, because, uh, you know, they, they don't feel comfortable. Or sex education, for example, when you talk about sex education, um, people have different opinions about it. Oh, this is not important. Oh, that is the responsibility of the religion teacher. But is it really? So think of, yeah. Okay, we have, oh, we have a lot already in the chat box. Yes. Uh, yeah. Tadi RT. So domestic violence. People see that as family problems. But problems are problems, right? 
politics. Okay. You like geopolitics, Ibu Dini? Homosexuality, of course. Now, free? Yeah, that was a, a hot topic, I think, yeah? A few months ago. Maybe it still is. Women talking about weight. Oh, yeah, you hear, you hear people commenting about weight. Adult video, like porns, you mean, Ibu? Yeah, okay, so there, oh, I, I did not expect you to come up with a lot of taboo topics here, but thank you. So, um, but I would like to ask first, Ibu Dini, do we have time for a breakout room discussion, maybe for five or ten, yeah, mental illness, uh, ten minutes? Yeah, of course. Okay, great, thank you. So, uh, please... Maybe you can work in, hold on, let me stop sharing. It's getting confusing. Maybe you can work in um, a group of, I don't know, three, two. How many do we have here? Let me divide you into, into 10 rooms. And then um, you can talk about, again, if Helena has passed the information has written the information in the chat box. So please discuss the questions. What are some common taboo or uncomfortable topics in your community? If you're not comfortable about taboo and talk about uh, uncomfortable. How would you bring the topics, how would you bring up the topics in class using critical thinking skills? Or if you are not a teacher, you could also think of how would you bring that up in your community? So community here, could mean your family, like uh, Ibu Teti here mentioned women talking about weight. If someone in the family keep commenting on your weight, how would you make them know that that is not something to discuss? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so, so something like that. Either you bring that up in your classroom or in your community, like you with your colleagues or with your family, with your children, with your parents, with your relatives. Okay, um, let, me, let me use, can I uh, give you just eight minutes, yeah? For the breakout room. Okay, I'm going to open all the rooms and I hope you have a great discussion. Good night, Mr. Asep.
Oh yeah. Um, hello everyone. It's nice to see you all here. If I'm not mistaken, the question was about the sensitive topics in our community. In my opinion, uh, porn is some kind of sensitive topic in my community because um, uh, porn or sex is not a uh, good uh, topic for our conversation or for our uh, discussion and then the second one is talking about other people <laughs> it is also risky uh, for the people because when we talk about other people so we uh, are uh, decaying uh, the people personality in front of the other people. So I think it is uh, bad people for the bad attitude for the people to do that. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. I can uh, English language uh, friendly. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Bri. Uh, so I think there are two senti sensitive things uh, for me, taboo. There are two taboos for me. The first one is uh, talking about porn, and then the second one is talking about other people. Uh, of course, it is not a good conversation but it is a good conversation for destroying or distracting the people personality. Thank you. Uh, maybe... How about you, Miss? <laughs> so what is your sensitive topic in your community? In, maybe in my community it, uh, is uh, bullying. Oh, uh, oh, I see. I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, I I oh. work in uh Snare High School mm -hmm. in Bekasi. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can I cannot be uh, English friendly. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so I agree. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, bullying uh, masih banyak bapak bullying di di eh, tempat saya bekerja di sekolah. Oh, Maybe just like fighting, man. Sorry. Just like fighting as well. Uh, di antaranya fighting, annoying. Ada ada ber, uh, uh, pertengkaran juga uh, oh, I see conflict I see uh, pemalakan juga malak gitu oh, apa ya <laughs> ya malak itu apa ya bapak <laughs> sorry I I uh, I cannot I think think for money without uh, yes yeah. impolitely yes uh, because I think uh, asking for money uh, to other people is not polite yes uh, Happen in my school here. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it is very sensitive. Man. Yes. Is there any accident? Man? Uh, yes. Uh, when I was in high school, there was accident. Oh, I see. Ya, yeah, uh, like uh, apa, no, uh, ya sampai uh, hidungnya berdarah, sampai patah oh, gitu. Oh, yeah, ya. yeah. My friend also had the same experience with uh, the situation in your high school. 
when I was in class three, uh, one of my friend was hit by uh, the student of class two. Uh, class, in the class two, class he, two. He came out. He was bloody man. Yes. Uh, I. Uh, itu uh, antar siswa itu. Nah, ya, yeah, that's right. Among the students. Oh, finish ya, finish ya. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank Mr. you. Thank you, Mr. Asep. I uh, thank you for uh, discussion. is very nice. I, sorry, I can cannot English. <laughs> It's okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. It is nice to see you thank all you, here. Mr. Asep. Thank that's you very me, much. Mr. Come back uh, main room ya. Yes, we will go back to the main menu in 12 seconds. Hello, can you one hear me? Welcome back, welcome back. We are still waiting for some more people. Need a longer time. Uh, yeah. I, I love it when people say that. <laughs> that means you had a great discussion in a breakout room. It's a pleasure to have a discussion then. <laughs> Not finished yet. <laughs> I know, it's okay. It's okay. This, this was just the start. I hope you continue. Okay, so can we hear from some of you, one or two groups? Uh, anyone? Want to can share? I, ma'am? Please, uh, Asep Dani, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Miss Ida, I think. Okay. Sorry, boleh pak. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, Miss Ida. Bu Helena, please. Oh, Bu Helena. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. It's a pleasure to see you, uh, ma'am. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Asep Deni Gandani. I come from Tasikmalaya. I teach English in Nurusalam Vocational High School, and it is a great pleasure to see you all here. And then I had a great discussion, an interesting discussion with uh, with my fellow friends and with the people in my room. Uh, first of all, I talk about my Uh, sensitive topics. The first one is about porn or sex. I think it is a sensitive uh, discussion uh, for the conversation in our daily life. And then the second one is also about uh, talking about other people, especially in uh, negative uh, conversation. Uh, it is just like destroying uh, the characteristic of other people, the personality of other people. So I think it is not good for the conversation of the people in their daily life. And then the second one, I also had uh, an interesting discussion with Ms. Dwi, and then she talked about bullying. <laughs> I also agree uh, with Uh, the term bullying, because uh, Ms. Dwi said that uh, in her uh, high school there were so there are so many kinds of bullying. I also had the same experience with Ms. Dewi in the high school. I was graduated from uh, Senor High School, and when I was in class three, one of my friends had a bullying from uh, the students from class two. Uh, they had a conflict in the toilet and then when my friend uh, came out from the toilet uh, his face was bloody <laughs> and then it, it 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 was a big conflict in it was a big case uh, for bullying in my senior high school thank you very much uh, for your change or opportunity to be given uh, for me to have uh, this um, conversation or discussion thank you very much Thank you so much, Pasep, uh, for sharing. Yeah, so apparently in Pasep's group, you had the opportunity to talk about uh, different kinds of taboo or uncomfortable topics yeah, happening in the community. Uh, I'm not sure I heard about how you bring that up in your classroom, but that is okay. Um, is there anyone from the other groups that would like to share? 
uh, maybe me, Miss Sari, uh, Ibu Kori, I want, or Ibu yes. Diana. Uh, which one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Please, uh, is it Ibu Kori or Ibu Yuliana? Uh, maybe uh, Yuliana. Oh, Ibu Yuliana. Okay. Okay, Ibu Yuliana. Okay. I want to share about my experience that I already told uh, in our breakout room. Uh, one day I was uh, in one of Christian youth activities um, and I tried to explain as a speaker at that time, I tried to explain about sex education And I think the children can accept what I told them. But after the activity, some of parents come to me and <laughs> they said that uh, Mrs. Yuli is not good to tell them about sex. <laughs> so I just, wow. But I didn't ask uh, why uh, the parents didn't agree. Uh, that's all what my experience thank you thank you Ibu Yuli so next time if you want to bring up that topic in I don't know maybe yeah as you said a, a group of youth right so I don't know, how would you do that uh, or maybe to I the think parents I think the first time I have to make a communication with the parents or uh, the adult uh, so when I bring the uh, sex education material uh, there will be not any more people who uh, not agree I think that's the way before I, I teach the children about uh, taboo thing I have to discuss first with other adult people who uh, has authority to the children I think like that okay thank you so much Ibu Yuli for sharing uh, Bapak Mukit Srifai raise your hand please share thank you Ibu. so we had a great discussion before with Ibu Henny and Ibu Rahayu if you want to speak in. And Ibu Rahayu uh, proposed one topic, uh, which was LGBT. And in our discussion, we uh, agreed that to introduce this topic to, to our students, we can start from something familiar to them. Like, for example, uh, asking them if they know Duchin Kaluna, and then if they know whether uh, she's uh, male or female, and then ask them, Uh, what they think if one of their friends changes their uh, uh, what is it their gender and then what if their friend one of their friends uh, changes their sexual orientation and then what would you do to them or what how would you uh, uh, how would you feel about them something like that and then we can come up with something more more complicated thank you Thank you, Pak. So it's basically asking uh, that, what would you question, right? Great, that was a great idea. Thank you so much. Ibu Hani, you raise your hand. Yes, thank you. Uh, first of all, in my discussion, my microphone just broken. So Miss Corey and I just typing. <laughs> in chat <laughs> then Miss Cory that uh, share the uh, experience in Keputrian uh, Youth uh, Forum about early pregnancies and women's skills and we have the, pro the program too so that's how we uh, talk about the taboo topics in our school Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ibu Hani. Yeah, so you have that keputrian, yeah. I think that's very common, yeah, in, in schools. 
Uh, Ibu Kori, you raise your hand. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, uh, I have uh, typed in the chat column before. Uh, the taboo topic is about uh, addiction to adult video. We didn't bring it in the classroom, but in a special uh, program, like I have just discussed before with Bu Hani in the separate room. Uh, we have in our school, we have a special pro program. It's called Keputrian. We uh, a woman skill like like teaching like making crafts and anything and also we shared and discuss to the student about uh, social life social problem teenagers problem and then the future yeah and addiction to the video Uh, the dangers of urgency sometimes it's not comfortable to talk about that and they also like shy to discuss about that it is but it's i think it's a good program because it, it's happened in our life in in a student's life in a teenager's life a teenager's problem about you know because they can access access anything from website from the internet anything like you want yeah and and what else addiction to gadget yeah it's something like that we talk about that in in the program right thank you thank you for this opportunity thank you so much ibu kori unfortunately the connection was not really good yeah but we we kind of get that so there are a lot of things that you can discuss i, I think what i uh the impression that i got from your share is that as long as you provide a safe space for your students to talk then you can have them uh, talk about the the uncomfortable or the taboo topics and again there are a lot of um ways you you can bring up the the topics into your classroom like uh, for example, what Brock mentioned, like a KWL, think, pair, share, making connection, uh, talking about fact or opinion, and then other activi activities like pros and cons, riddles or puzzles, debates, and what would you do prompts that we already uh, heard from the other group. Okay, uh, yeah, thank you for the introduction, Ibu Iis. Okay. Uh, we have more people raising their hand, but I would like to ask Ibu Dini first. Do we still have time? Do we want to spend the rest uh, of the yes. okay. Yeah, we still have time. But okay. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So Ibu Gradiana, I think Bu, Bu Kori has... Uh, it's okay. Spoken. It's okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the topics that uh, sometimes uh, we have we have ever discussed. It, it is about uh, sexual fire uh, violences. So uh, it is related uh, when the student um, give their opinions that uh, it is related to the education from uh, home. So uh, nowadays uh, there is a free free internet. And then kids, uh, most of kids, it is free for them to search the internet and then they know everything all about violences. And then one of uh, them is um, sexual violences. They can search it. They want to know. So for um, kids, sometimes uh, they are eagerly to know what is that the the show and then they will search it and then this is the problem for the parents and uh, the parents uh, they must have an attention to supervise how to uh, how to ban the student or how to ban the kids to watch or to search this um, this uh, situation because it is free for the the for uh, the parents that they are at home, it is no problem. But for the uh, 
parents that they leave the kids at home with their uh, uh, nanny, it is problem for them. So I think that uh, the sexual violence is it is um, a problem for students, especially from kids, from toddlers, and then kids, and then children, and then now our students. So it is from home, and we have to. Uh, put our special attention to the situation because of the violences. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ibu Gradiana, for raising that up. Ibu Rina? Uh, yes, thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I was in the breakout room with Ibu Vivian actually earlier. Then uh what is that the topic that uh some friends uh type on the chat box was uh too dangerous and i was too afraid to discuss about that but then i have something small but it's still taboo for us because i teach senior high school there was a uh, about smoking uh one day i brought the topic into the classroom to ask them about uh i asked them to search for some facts and opinion about uh being smoker and what are the advantages and the disadvantages of uh smoking uh well surprisingly some just agree because some of them are smokers maybe because their parents are um they say that uh being a smoker uh, is a great advantage just because it's a kind of their they have their own personal entertainment make them relax or something but some are just disagree because uh <clears throat> they might get the opinion then uh for being not uh, <laughs> uh not a smoker they can save some money and they keep their body health and then uh that was uh what is that make the students think and make the student uh, share their ideas and then maybe uh, I hope some uh, smoker junior smoker I mean maybe they will they will think to quit because uh, still for the senior high school students uh, it's not good also it's not allowed mm, what is that to do uh, at school okay that's all I guess uh, thank you Ibu Sari Thank you, Ibu Rina. I'm glad to have you joining this conversation. I remember you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think you... Uh, yeah, I still remember <laughs> you too. <laughs> you use the pros and cons, yeah, for that one. Uh, the pros for smoking and the, the cons for smoking. Thank you. Do we have um, another group willing to share the discussion result? We don't. Okay, I think it's been great uh, sharing with you all. So I'm going to give the time back to the uh, Ibu Andri and Ibu Dini. And if any one of you would like to contact me, uh, I'll give the my contact information in the chat box. Wait. I accidentally copy everything from my presentation. Hold on. Okay, so okay, here's the uh, I'm I'm giving you the presentation link, and then if you would like to see the definition of critical thinking from Monash, I give you the link, and if you would like to contact me, I also give you uh, my contact information. Feel free to email or WhatsApp me, and have more discussion about critical thinking or anything else. Thank you so much, Ibu Andri. Thank you, Ibu Sari, for your wonderful presentation. And we are so engaged with your activity this evening. And uh, yes, uh, we would be, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to have you this evening. And we learned so much about uh, how to use the critical thinking and also the uh, 
uh, the participants uh, in this evening also would uh, learn uh, so many things, uh, new things, um, perhaps new perspectives of looking at what is something uh, that we can or cannot discuss. Yeah, sometimes we think that we cannot discuss because uh, it's a taboo, but probably it's because of the unknown. Uh, we are afraid of uh, of the consequences or what uh, what would happen if we discuss that and we cannot uh, control the discussion. Something like that. Uh, being a teacher sometimes is. Uh, talking about control yeah how you control the class and how to make sure that we can and while now it's not the teacher who control the class but it's also the students and how we can facilitate them uh, through our uh, activities okay uh, thank you very much for everybody who attends uh, the, the the session this evening uh, we have several links that you can uh, access first is the uh, pre the attendance uh, form uh, I've already given out to you in the chat box and also Ibu Elena all, uh, also gives the evaluation for a survey so the next time uh, the peace course in, uh, would present uh, the new topic uh, based on your uh, what do you wish to uh, uh, to talk about and also Ibu Asari already give you the presentation link uh, in the press uh, with the Prezi link and uh, Monash definition of critical thinking and uh, Ibu Sari uh, contact person yeah okay uh, for, so in order to close our session this evening uh, I would like to ask Ibu Sari to uh, maybe have a like a closing statement, Ibu. I did not prepare that. But, uh, <laughs> no, thank you so much, Ibu Andre. Okay. I think you summarize it well. Sometimes yeah. we don't want to talk about things because we are not comfortable talking about it. But those are actually um, important things. You know, if we don't start talking about it, then we just sweep it under the rug and. The issue yeah. gets bigger and yeah. everyone will, you know, will get affected. So, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. so let's, let's use our critical thinking skills. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Ibu Sari. And, uh, uh, and uh, for and we would like to thank uh, uh, the this course Indonesia who uh, who supports us very greatly, uh, uh, especially for Jabar Teacher Chatter, uh, and uh, for uh, we still uh, runs for every two weeks, uh, and uh, for the next Jabar Teacher Chatter uh, would be in. Uh, sorry, uh, let's see, I would just like, oh, would be on the 11th of August, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we would see you again in two weeks. And uh, we would have, uh, yes, thank you, uh, Ibu Sari, and thank you, everyone. And hopefully we can see you again within the next two weeks. I would like to also thank you, uh, thank uh, all the communities and uh, so, uh, all the committees of uh, Jabba Teacher Chatter who al always uh, helps us in uh, holding uh, uh, this event. And uh, thank you very much, everybody. Hopefully you are all well and uh, wish you a very good evening and hope to see you again in GTC 67th in uh, next two weeks. Thank you very much and uh, see you again. Salam uh, I would give back to Ibu Dini. Okay, thank you uh, Ibu Sari for giving us a very insightful uh, tema yeah, about a critical thinking and also for Teacher Andri for leading the session. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, the great educators and great teachers in West Java or in Indonesia. That's our JTC session for this evening. Don't forget to participate in the uh, upcoming uh, two weeks, yeah, JTC uh, episode with other prominent guest speaker from 
uh, Peace Corps Indonesia and also uh, will be accompanied by uh, our lovely uh, JTC coaches ya. Tetap berjaya Jabar juara. Thank you for your attention and for your great participation. Ya. Wabillahi taufik wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum okay. warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Okay.